Um, we also found that girls are invisible in school because the staff sees them as requiring less surveillance than males or even non-minority females and their achievements are often unnoticed. From Black Girls Untold Strength and Resilience Report, uh, minority girls are at an increased risk of living in poverty and that leads to an increased risk of interpersonal violence. It limits their educational opportunities and, it, and they just grow up too fast in general. And from the Black Girls Matter Report, the girls' attachment and sense of belonging in school can be undermined if their achievements are overlooked or undervalued. I also had the wonderful opportunity of attending a breakfast where the former superintendent of the ISD, Mike Miles, was in attendance at my alma mater, SMU. Um, and so while he was there, he mentioned um, that he wanted the community to be more engaged in the schools and to be involved in social and emotional learning. And basically that is character and moral development for the students outside of the classroom. And he said that academic learning and achievement cannot happen without it. And it will also help the students to connect with the school in meaningful ways. And he also urged the community to get involved and to do something about the problems that they see in their own community. What makes the Rose Foundation different from other girl organizations is because we want to come in and we want to be proud. We want to be engaging and we want to be able to solve their problems. Whatever the girls need, we want to be there to help them. And on, on the other hand, we also want to be able to um, not tell them what to do, but to give present them with information that they can take and you know be up to their decision if they want to use that to better their lives. Yeah, and also we like interviewed a couple of people within DISD schools and within the school districts in the Dallas area, and they all see a need for a program like this, uh, a program where we go into the schools, whereas other programs ask the girls to come to them in the community, and nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen for that age population that we're looking at. And it's just we've just seen a, a great response for the need for this program. I believe uh, the Rose Foundation would help the Dallas community in a big way. Um, I believe just with Dallas, encouraging Dallas to support our youth, it will build a resilient community um, and by giving them the capacity to allow the youth to come in and to engage with adults. And by that, we'll be able to build up powerful leaders that want to get in the community and help others. And just by doing that, they will see that they have purpose. And having purpose builds up a greater Go to the lab tomorrow. Why, Bray? What are we gonna do tomorrow? The same thing that we do every day. Try to take over the world. In the light of your halo, I got my angel now. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you breaking. It's the risk that I'm taking. I ain't never gonna show.